the next thing that I want to show is images. I mean, when you think of the web, you think of images quite a bit, right? I mean, maybe you don't think of images directly, but when you go to a website, you expect there to be images, right? So to create a page and not have images seems a little bland, boring, right? Like, you expect images. Now, we've waited to do images until a little bit later in the game because images are a little bit more complex uh, for a couple different reasons. But they're really not too hard, and at this point, if you've handled everything else, I think you should be fine with images. Now, we can't upload images to this service, so we're going to have to use an image from somewhere else, and then we're accessing it and we're having it load from someone else's server. And it's kind of a no-no to do, but I'm going to do it for this video just to show you how to do this, and then I'll show you how to work with putting it up on GitHub. So first off, I need to find an image, right? So I found this image. I just uh, grabbed it from a Google search result, right? So switching up cats, I found this cute little image, and uh, yeah, whatever. So this is the URL for this image, right? So I'm going to need that in a moment. Now, what I'm going to do is over here, right, I'm going to start to insert some code that will, you know, create the image. So it's pretty easy, really. Uh, we start out with an exclamation point that basically tells Markdown that this is going to be an image. So then I create some square brackets, and inside of here is uh, essentially a description of what the image is. This is called the alt text. So image of a black and white kitten. So this is not meant to provide additional information for the image. This is meant to provide information in case the image doesn't work, right? So maybe the uh, server that the image is pulling from is down, or I typed the link wrong, or something like that. It's in place of the image. It shows up if the image doesn't work. And if I add the next parts of the code for this, you'll see what I mean. So to make the image work, I need the exclamation point. I need uh, this alt information in square brackets, and then in parentheses, I put the URL. Now notice here, this now changed completely from what it showed before, because now this markdown editor realizes I want an image, but I don't have a URL. So since I don't have a URL, it's showing this alternative information, right? So that's what it does in case it can't, like, in case for whatever reason, it can't seem to load the image. So now I'm going to grab the URL for this image, and I'll paste it in here. There we go. Now I've got this cute image of the kitten, right? And then what I can do, and this part's not required, but it's recommended. Inside of these parentheses, after this URL, I'm going to put a space, put two quotation marks, and I'm going to provide a title for it. Uh, this could be, you could think of this as a caption, um, you could think of this as a couple different things, but this is additional information. So this will show up when the user puts their mouse over the image, and it's meant for additional information to the image. So the image works, and it's extra information, which is different than the alternate information, right? So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so, I don't know, what a cute kitten, or whatever, doesn't matter, right? So now if I hover over this, there we go, so you can see the title there, right? And that's pretty much it for how this works. Now, how do we get this to work with GitHub? And I mentioned that we don't want to do, like, right, we don't want to do this, right? We don't want to, like, rely on someone else's server. One, it's not, like... It's kind of impolite. It's considered uh, impolite um, online to do. It's considered something you shouldn't do. Uh, but the other thing, too, is like, what if their server goes down, right? And then you have all these broken images on your site, and it looks like you don't know what you're doing, but it's because that other site went down, that other server went down. And I guess, in a way, it is kind of like you don't know what you're doing because you shouldn't be relying on someone else's server for your images. So, um, how do we do it? All right, so I'm going to steal this image, which, I mean, is also a no-no, but I'm just doing it for examples. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, it did not like that. Let's see. Save image. Is that better? 
Ah, it doesn't like that. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to screenshot it. That'll be fine. So on a Mac, you can do Command Shift 4 to be able to quickly and easily screenshot something. I'm just going to rename this. All right. So I have the picture of the kitten on my desktop now. And I can go into my GitHub page, repository, whatever. Right now, this is the markdown file that I've been playing with. I'm going to go back to the repository folder. And here, I'm going to upload that kitten.png I just made. All right, so I've uploaded it. Now I need to commit the changes, and it'll take a moment. And here we go, we can see it worked. Now, if I click on this, I do now have the image uploaded to my GitHub folder. Right now, this is not the exact URL for that. This is the URL for this page, right? So I would still have to like open image in new tab to get the exact URL. And I could copy and paste this instead and put that here, and that would be fine. All right, so that, that works. Now I will select all of this and copy this. And I can go back here, go back to my folder, right? Go to the README file I've been editing, tell it to edit and we can paste this in and it should it should work there we go so now we have the kitten here and in just a moment it should reflect here as well now one more thing that I would like to mention when we use this full URL this is like an absolute location and that's fairly long I didn't actually have to copy and paste all of this in there for that to work because I know the file's name and these two are in the same place, I could use a relative link instead or a relative URL. So I could go into here and instead of having this whole thing, I could just say kitten.png and I can save this. And what it's doing, because I haven't given it a full URL, a full long URL of where it's located, it's instead looking in the folder that this is located in for this, and that's how that works. Now, let's say I have a lot of images, right? Like, I'm going to build a really big website, and maybe I don't want this to be filled with a ton of stuff. Instead, what I could do is I could create, create a folder to contain all of my images, and then reference from there, and that works too. So to do that, let's just demonstrate. So we'll do images. And then uh, you can't really create a folder without having some sort of uh, file in there. And right now I can really only create a markdown file. So I'm just going to create a placeholder.md. And then here we'll just write placeholder just to make sure that it actually creates this folder. So commit new file. All right, so now we have this folder called images. And let's see, can I move this there? Is that easy to do? Not really. I'll go ahead and just trash this kitten. Sorry, kitten. All right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so we've thrown away the kitten, poor guy, and now we can see this alternative text is working. I can go into images, and I can upload that kitten that I just threw away, uploading it to my desktop. All right, and I can do commit. Okay, and uh, here we can see the image is still not working. You might say, well, why? You re-uploaded it. Well, the kitten is located inside of this images folder, and we're not telling it to look in the images folder. We're saying, hey, the kitten should be here, right? So I just need to go in here and modify my URL instead say images slash kitten.png and this is saying hey 
look in this markdown folder for a folder called images and in there you should find kitten.png. And so if I commit changes, there we go. Perfect. That works. Now, just to make sure we're clear, if I copy this and I paste it back over here, right? Everything works except for the image because this kitten.png is not on this server. It's not in this person's account. Even though I'm in GitHub for both of these, right? Like this is my GitHub and this is their GitHub. This is on this person's account, not my account. And so they don't have access to my folder structure. So yeah, not a big deal. Just something you want to be aware of.